Well, The Princess Bride, after I had done, um, actually after I was, I was in the middle of finishing up the sure thing, and I was thinking about what I wanted to do next, um, and I said to Andy Scheinman, I said, you know, they make books out of movies. I was such a neophyte, I didn't know what the heck I was doing. I said, you know, the, my favorite book as a kid, as a young adult growing up was The Princess Bride. I love that book. And I said, and I went and read it again. I said, wow, it's still fabulous. It is just the hippest, f smartest, funniest book, you know, ever. And it, cre it combined all these sensibilities, you know, satire and adventure and romance and all this stuff in it. Wow, this is cool. And I said, I'd love to make a movie out of this. I was so naive. I didn't know that, you know, they had tried to make them, you know, Francois Truffaut was involved, Redford was involved, Norman Jewison. Fifth, you know, it was on a list of the, you know, one of the great screenplays that would never, had never been made, you know, on the list of 10 great screen. So um, I decided, let's see if I, William Gold would have let me do it. I was like an idiot, you know, I thought, well, he'll, you know, who knows if he'll say yes, I don't know. Um, I went to his apartment. He, well, first of all, he wanted to see, he didn't know, you know, he, he had not, he had not seen anything. He saw Spinal Tap. He thought, that's good. And then I showed him the sure thing. It was in rough cut form. And he looked at that. And he says, okay. Then he agreed to even take a meeting with me. And I walked into his apartment. I was with Andy Scheinman. And he said, at the door, he greeted me. He said, this is my baby. This is, I want this on my tombstone. This is my favorite thing I've ever written in my life. And basically, well, what, what are you going to do with it? And we sat down with him. And we started going through what I thought should be done for the film and, so, and what was wrong with some of the screenplays and how they had gotten away from what I felt was the essence of his book. And he was listening and taking out a couple of notes. He wasn't saying anything. And at one point he got up and he went to, he was at his apartment, he went to the kitchen. And I turned to Andy and I said, I don't know, how do you think it's going? Do you think he's buying it? And he walked back in from the kitchen. He says, I just think, he has this high squeaky voice, I just think this is going great. I'm having the greatest time. I love it. And we knew at that point, we walked out and we were walking on air. We just thought, oh, God, William, William Goldman. I mean, he likes what we wanted. To, and I was such an admirer. I'd read everything he'd ever written. So he let us do it and we got to get to make it. It was received pretty good. I mean, uh, we got great reviews, unbelievable reviews, and great cinema scores, those exit polls. We had a hard time marketing it, though. The, the Fox, who released it here, had no idea. And, and to, the, to, to the day it opened, we didn't have a one sheet. We didn't have a, we didn't have a trailer. So it, uh, it, didn't, it did OK at the box office, but it didn't do what I felt it should have done. And again, it's one of those movies that's gained in status over the years. People, you know, people, people come up to me and they say, Spinal Tap and Princess Bride, those are the two movies that they've mentioned to me more, more often than any other movies I've done. Well, my name is Inigo Matoya, you killed my father, prepare to die, and then when Chris Guest just runs away. <laughs> he says that. That's one of my favorite movies.